and ended up going for a fillet in the end. I think this is what I had last time. Like, I recognize this. We wish you a Merry Christmas. My mom, Carol's singing, you didn't even appreciate it. Look at this. Teamwork makes the dream work. Bring these old Colbert's ready for Father Christmas in the morning. Good morning everyone, it is Christmas Eve. I literally cannot believe that Christmas Eve is already here. It actually felt like yesterday was Christmas Eve, then we were gonna wake up and today was Christmas. However, today is Christmas Eve. Good morning everyone. I have literally just got out of bed. I woke up this morning nice and early and edited up my vlog. In fact, I edited up two vlogs because as you all know, I am like two days in front with my vlogs just so it gives me time to edit them and stuff. So I edited up two vlogs. Obviously tomorrow's Christmas, I didn't wanna to have to wake up and worry about editing my vlog, so I've got it done early. However, that does mean it is now almost the afternoon time. I've just had my breakfast. I don't really know what I'm doing today. We don't really do much on Christmas Eve. We have the family tradition of having hot chocolates and watching Polar Express. No doubt at some point that'll be happening. However, I kind of need to nick to Meadow Wall. I've not bought Christmas cards. There's a few things that I just need to run into Meadow Wall and get. I believe Ella wants to get an outfit for tonight and also some earrings. Basically, we have booked to go to a restaurant called Miller and Carter. I went there on my birthday vlog actually with Ella and Megan. They do the best steaks ever. Literally the nicest steak I've ever, ever had was from there. So, as it's Christmas Eve, we thought we'd be fans, so we thought we'd treat ourselves. So me, Brooke, and Ella are gonna go to Miller and Carter this evening, and then we're gonna go to the local pub, just because everyone goes to this local pub and like brings Christmas in. However, I'm not gonna stay for too long. I'm just gonna pop in, see my friends, wish everyone a Merry Christmas, and then I'm gonna come home and actually watch Polo Express and have hot chocolates with my family. But I think that's pretty much all I'm doing today. Today's gonna be a pretty lazy day. I just need to make sure I've got everything ready for Christmas. And I'm just gonna, you know what, now I've got all my like editing and stuff done, I'm just gonna enjoy today, try and be as festive as possible but first I need to get dressed because currently this is my current situation oh I've just remembered by looking at myself in the mirror I need to get hair dye from Meadow Wall today so if we do go to Meadow Wall, that is definitely what I'm gonna get and I'm literally just in my pajamas so I am gonna get dressed brush my teeth do all that fun stuff and yeah start the day I guess it's really late in the afternoon it's almost 12 o'clock so I need to get my shit together and actually do some stuff otherwise this vlog will be really bad and we're gonna try and avoid that look who's laid outside the bathroom door this little loaf of bread oh hello baby how are you this morning it's christmas eve i honestly do feel like my head just reminds me of draco malfoy and i don't know what it is Right, so I'm all dressed and ready now. This is what I'm wearing. I thought this is the most festive type of big jumper I've got. And also, I don't need to wear a coat with this. I am going to take a coat just in case. However, this is what I'm wearing. Just some... Oh my god, actually, I got these trousers from ASOS the other day. They kindly sent them to me. They're the coolest, like, thing ever. They're super, super flowy. So I just put these on with a little black belt that I wear all the time. And then this jumper, obviously. Still got my white beanie on because I need to dye my hair. So hopefully, we can nip to Meadowall at some point and get some hair dye. It's already dark outside, though, so that's fun. But yeah, literally just waiting for Brooke and Ella to come pick me up now. And it's put on my shoes and then I'm gonna head to the steakhouse. I'm so excited for this food. I'm literally starving. All I've had today is my breakfast so I cannot wait to have a big meal. Then we're gonna go to Meadowall, grab a few less bits and then maybe head to the pub. Who knows? But it's Christmas Eve and it doesn't actually feel like Christmas Eve. And the last one to admit that when it doesn't feel Christmas Eve, but I'm admitting it now. Don't feel Christmassy now. <laughs> So I've been the one that's been dropped off to go in the restaurant just so we don't lose our table because it's now fully booked And if you don't arrive within 15 minutes of your booking the table will get given to someone else So now I've got to sit on my own inside while they try and find parking Everyone's made it in now. I'm trying to remember what I actually got last time. I'm pretty sure I got a sirloin steak I just want the exact same as I got last time, but I don't know what that is So I had to take my hat off and this is what my hair looks like I ended up going for a fillet in the end. I think this is what I had last time. Like, I recognize this. If anyone watched that vlog, you'll probably know what I'm on about. I don't know if I got sirloin. I went with fillet anyway in the end. Why is yours so big? Did you get the same as ours? I got sirloin. Laddie, yeah, well, I'm jealous. Right, moment of truth. Is it same? What do you do with it? I can pull it. We wish you a Merry Christmas. My oh, mom, Carol's singing, you didn't even appreciate it. So I'm back home now. Everyone's gone to the pub. I don't know if I'm gonna join them later on. My cousin and everyone's there. I don't know what the hell is going on with my hair. It was so funny where I walked in to Miller and Cartway, where we just went for food. And the woman was so nice to me. She started hanging around our table a little bit and she's like, I'm so sorry to have to do this. I was like, what? She was like, I'm gonna have to tell you to set your hat off, which obviously I don't mind, but I didn't do anything to my hair. It looked like this. And I was sat in a really fancy restaurant eating food. And also the back of my hair is literally yellow. That was fun anyway. The meal were really, really nice. Everyone's 
gone up to the pub now. I don't know what the situation is. Basically, every year, everyone goes up to the local pub and waits for, till it turns 12 o'clock, says Merry Christmas, and then everyone goes home because the pub closes. My cousin and everyone are there. All my friends from school are there. There's a bunch of people there, but I'm just like, do I really want to go up? Uh, my mom keeps telling me just to go, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe I'll go up, maybe I won't. Are we going to watch Polar Express at some point and make hot chocolate? So I might go afterwards and just go for either like the last half an hour or the last hour before it turns 12, just so I can say I've at least been. Look at this, teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> what is going off now? Oh my god, Kim Kardashian's here. Oh wow, Kim! <laughs> right, somehow against my own will I've been forced to go to pub. So, Ella, I hope you're happy. Can I bring your wardrobe now? Smile! Me at it's just a video for my vlog. I hope you're happy with yourself. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Santa slays here to come pick you up. Right, we've arrived at the back. pub. It's exactly nine o'clock. What are your last words before we go in here? Uh, Merry uh, Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's your last words? Oh, that's, that's cute. <laughs> that's disgusting. How long do you reckon we're gonna last? <laughs> I'm saying all night. All night. Ella's actually gonna want to try and stay in here till twelve I'm though, just so she can go. Merry Christmas, and then leave. <laughs> it's nine forty-four, and I'm back home in my bed. That really didn't last long. I knew it would last probably like forty minutes. I saw my cousin, saw my friends, and then I was like, you know what? I'm not drinking in here. It's literally so damn busy. Everyone ever goes to this pub, so you literally can't breathe, can't move. It's sweaty and gross. And yeah. I'm bad at small talk, so I just left. Uh, my mum came and picked me up. But saying that, I actually left my camera in Ella's car. And Ella and Brooke have just dropped it off now on the way back past. And they're also leaving, so I don't know why I got my mum to pick me up, because they literally left 10 minutes after me. So everyone's calling it a night. I'm going to now go downstairs, make myself a cup of tea. I might have hot chocolate, actually. And then we're going to watch Polo Express, I believe. That's the family tradition. So hopefully that's what we're going to do. Otherwise, I'll be pissed off that we brought the tradition for the first year in probably, like, five years. So... So change of plan, we're not actually watching Polar Express for the first year in how many years have we watched Polar Express now? Gosh. More than 10. It's got to be no. more than... What, mom, yeah. Because no, we used to do it in year six. 7. You think Almost I'm 16 seven. now? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm 16 now, guys, just to let you all know. I started year 7 when I was 10. <laughs> so my mom obviously knows so much about me these days, it's crazy. She knows my age. What's my name? <laughs> We know my name as well, potentially. No, it's the first year in such a long time anyway that we're not actually watching Polar Express. We're gonna watch a film called Claws. Now, me, Haz and Freya started watching it. They finished it and I didn't actually get to see the ending and everyone's been raving about it. Apparently it's up for some like big awards, apparently. So hopefully it's really, really good. I watched half of it and the half that I did watch was really good. However, I didn't get to see the ending, so I kind of want to see the ending. And also, as much as it pains me to not watch Polar Express on Christmas, I'm kind of like, I know every single word that is gonna come out of the boy's mouth, so. Maybe we'll switch it up this year, who knows. I'm hoping it's good because I've raved about it now and um, it's a lot of pressure because we've ruined the family tradition for this. Also as well, all I've wanted for weeks and weeks, since me and Frey went to the cinema actually and I saw a tub of quality streets in Tesco's that I was joking about buying um, to take to the cinema, I've literally been wanting quality streets and mum's got a box. So I've just sat on the floor in my box of quality streets, about to watch this film. Well, have you put um, mince pie and milk out? Oh no, you've not. Coco? <laughs> cool, cool. Have you put mince pie out, Coca Bean? Bernie's all curled up, ready for Father Christmas in the morning. <laughs> oh, baby. Are you ready for Father Christmas to come, Princess? Oh, yeah. Right, everyone, I am now gonna get in bed. It's literally like, what time is it actually? It is, oh my god, it's five to one in the morning. It's officially Christmas, but it doesn't count until we wake up. I hate when people like say, oh my god, happy birthday and stuff like at 12 o'clock. It doesn't count until you wake up and the sun's up. So I'm not gonna say it now, <laughs> but it's Christmas in the morning. I'm so excited to wake up. I was just joking with my mom. So, you know, we're gonna get up at six o'clock because as kids, we would literally wake up at the crack of dawn. I probably will still wake up just because I feel like I've got built up excitement and also I'm excited to give the gifts to people tomorrow morning. I'll make sure to vlog all that so stay tuned for my Christmas day vlog. I can't promise it's gonna be anything super extraordinary. I feel like you're gonna watch a bunch of other YouTubers Christmas day vlogs then you're gonna watch mine and I feel like mine's not gonna be as spectacular. However that's my Christmas. My, this is my family and it's my vlog so I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did smash a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the morning. Good night.